Taking fire! Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, Fathead from Infinite Combo here, and today I am back and Gears of War 4 has finally gotten its third title update. Now, with this title update, they're introducing new cards for customization, new characters for customization, and a whole lot of fixes, including something to deal with those people who quit core and competitive. Really psyched about this. But also, of course, two new maps. You got Clock Tower. It's the Gears of War 3 layout, of course. No extra barriers. And Blood Drive. Once again, the Gears 2 into Gears 3 layout. Eh, I'm not too psyched about that, but I've played them and they seem pretty solid. Now, if you are a season pass holder and you want to jump in on this with just some social play, go to your Versus menu, matchmaking, and then to developers playlist. There you can play it all you like, bot backfilling, rolling matches, and of course double XP and 20% more credits. So eh, you can grind out for some of those packs a little bit easier. Now the two new maps they've given us for Gears of War 4 are really classic maps. Uh, you've got Clock Tower here. Um, this is done in the Gears of War 3 style. By that I mean the weapon spawns, the lack of barriers, and the end there where the bridge is blown out. All Gears of War 3 stylings. Um, it's still a boom shot spawn. It swaps with drop shot now. Um, you've got Sniper up top, dueling Boltock pistols, and of course grenades under the little overhang. Now all this is really nice, it feels very familiar, and there's no super grind to relearn the maps. I mean the old strategies work uh, just on a newer looking map. It's uh, simple, it's uh, got a lot of nice corners, Th there's really nothing bad I can say about this map. If you were a fan of this in Gears of War 3, you're going to fall in love with it all over again. Now the next map they gave us is a classic of course, it was loved and hated by everyone including myself. Yeah, Blood Drive's back. Now I know everyone's like, oh, we've seen enough of this, we want something better. I'll tell you this right now, I didn't get spawn trapped once. I think they've fixed the spawn swapping, I think they've adjusted it so that you won't get spawn trapped, and once again, the map feels very familiar. There's no real need to, you know, completely relearn these maps. The weapon spawns are very familiar, there's no torque bow anymore, and the scorcher has been replaced by an overkill. Other than that, it's everything you know and love from the old map back. And of course they added a little UI. Uh, notification to let you know when the spawns have swapped to get the hell out of there and back off. I must have missed that message here. But overall, I like these. I really think they've done some you know, some some really great things with these maps, uh, visually as well as technically. Now, on top of the two maps they've given us, they've given us 280 custom cards as well to tack on to your. Uh, your library here for what you want to play as, like an undead gear soldier, for example. So you can pimp out your sir and or madam. Like I said, there's 280. Too many for me to go over in this video, so I'll post a link down below. You guys can check out the nitty gritty of all the custom cards for yourselves. And now for the cliff notes of the actual updates, the technical aspect of it. Um, They are hearing the cries of season pass holders and are actually giving season pass holders something. Now it's not huge, but it's something to start off with. Uh, as of January 13th, all season pass holders will get a free Gears airdrop containing 20 packs for the character and weapon skins that they just launched with this title update. So don't go crafting just yet. You might get what you want for absolutely nothing. Um, on top of the weekly or daily bonuses, I should say, they've been giving people, you know, logging and just getting free uh, bounty cards. They're also putting out every single Friday for season pass holders only, you will get a free bounty gears pack every Friday just for logging in. Uh, that's beautiful. Once again, it's not a huge jump, but it's a push in the right direction. Now, the other great thing about this title update is they are, in fact, combating quitters! Yes! Phase 1, they say that now anyone who quits a core or competitive match will be temp banned from matchmaking for a predetermined amount of time. I'm not sure how long it is yet. They don't tell you. 
but it's a time ban, guys. They can't rejoin any kind of matchmaking until they've cooled off. And the more times you quit, the longer the ban is. It's wonderful. Now, if you do get disconnected, they say there is... Uh, there is an oopsie feature in there. If you do get disconnected or your cat or pet trips the power cable, you can, in fact, rejoin a match within five minutes. So if you lag out, no problem. You won't be penalized. If you rejoin, the penalty will be removed. So overall, not a mind-blowingly incredible title update, but a lot of things that are pushing in the right direction for Gears of War. You know, addition of actual quit penalties. The uh, the maps look fantastic, and I mean, I love the fact that they're actually treating the season pass holders a bit better now. Hopefully we'll see that improve as time goes on. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below there. And once again, if you want to see the full details of the title update, link in the description. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you like what we do here at Infinite Combo, simply click the like button, share it, and subscribe. It really helps us stay motivated because we like making these videos for you. Well, guys, till next time, stay infinite. Hardware failure. Resistance will not.